What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Let's get right into it. Y'all know how when our skin turns green or when we wear copper or fake jewelry? Watch this. So when you turn green from wearing that necklace or that ring or that bracelet or that watch too long, them earrings, you're exposing your true skin color. Stay with me. Melanin and plants go through the same photosynthesis. We absorb the sun the same as plants do. The only difference we have with plants is that they have magnesium and we have iron. Now we know that our bodies are made up of a lot of water, almost 80% 75. A lot of oxygen. What color does iron take when it's in water? That would explain why we are copper colored beings. Now when a leaf dies or falls in frequency, it turns the same color of our copper colored skin. It loses its green color. They also try to say that the green veins we see in our skin is just a trick of light. Now some babies are also born with green skin patches on them. And they didn't have no fake jewelry. And how y'all found it fascinating that babies don't have to drink water. You almost have to force them to drink it. Look, top 10 tips to get your kids to drink water. To get them more exposed to this oxygen. And some people say that could be the reason why our bodies age. Because DNA passes down and stays alive forever. Because it's the magnesium that holds it together and keeps it alive. Protects it. Now plants are green, they don't have iron, they have magnesium. Now we know in Egypt that Osiris is green. Yeah, green skin, immortality. Magnesium. Even when we come out the womb, it says our bodies aren't suited for water for several months. Also, they can't tell where our genes originate. The civilizations that we built, the knowledge that we had. It is the oldest human DNA strain on Earth. What's in our skin is found in space. Y'all can say I'm crazy, but y'all know some of these aliens are different colors. We probably came to this planet with green skin. But y'all stay dangerous and let me know what y'all think. Of course. Of course, we, I think we did. I feel like we came to this planet with green skin. And I feel like we fell in frequency. Man. Like like she said, with the with the leaves. Every fall, the leaves be green, right? As soon as it get cold, what happens? They fall off the tree. The, the 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 leaves start falling off the tree. They start turning brown. What? Like how you go from green to a brown like that? That's how you know the frequencies is messed up on our planet and it's not aligning right no more. You know everything's off balance. You know, but yeah. Our true skin color is green, not brown. We are brown because we lost the 12th element called magnesium and that magnesium was replaced with iron so we rusted from green to brown. Our body is made up of 70% water. When you mix iron with the water and oxygen you get the color brown which is rust. This is why most cultures depict their deities having green skin such as Osiris and Ptah and blue skin as you see Krishna. Most Nubian babies are also born with green Mongolian spots. Our blood was also green, chlorophyll, which is why we have green veins. And if you place a ring on your finger and cut off the oxygen, your finger is going to be green, which tells you that our true skin color is green. Our cells also contain a pigmentation called chromatophyll. Chromatophyll gave us the ability to change color and camouflage into any environment and hide from predators, just like lizards and reptiles do. So as the planet Earth was growing, Everything was alive, and our skin was green. Our blood was chlorophyll. There was no dying or death, or diseases, because everything was alive. There were no poisonous plants until 36 million years after, because we were not born to die. We were born to grow and expand our consciousness, and grow into many suns, and travel beyond the stars, becoming one with all. Our true skin mm. color is green, not brown. You got to think about it too. Green is like a higher frequency too. And red is supposed to be like the lowest chakra anyway, right? That's crazy. That's how you know we really fell in frequency. If you look at it on that level, because red is really just that lower self, right? And we, and we bleed. What color is it? Red. That's how you, you can look at it like that too. Green is supposed to be the heart chakra, right? Yeah, man, that's how you know, man, that we really found the frequency, man. This has got to be real. There's no way it's not, man, because everything is just off balance and we can feel it and we know it. So apparently 
China has been spent on by a megatomic blizzard. And it seems like they're getting terrorized by a new gang on the street called the Eastside Frozen Bandits. With notorious members like Libro from Johnny Tess, Elsa from Frozen, and Mr. Freeze. Nah, on a serious note though, this look like this is a clip straight out of the movie 2012. And it seems like as the days go on, we're having more and more strange weather patterns that's happening. Because there's no way that this whole area is covered in two inches of ice. Straight ice. Look at the cars. The car has been obliterated with ice. And it seems like the weather is only getting worse and worse as the days continue. Yeah, the planet is definitely giving us signs as she twerked a ice sheet over China. And we all remember how scientists have been raising the alarm through the roof about climate change. What's well, changed before our eyes? We have new rivers that pop up in new places and others where rivers dried up. Ice as thick as two inches and summers as hot as the sun. Y'all let me know what y'all think about trying to have this ice sheet obliterate them in the comments. So like and follow for more wisdom and stay tuned. Follow me on YouTube and Instagram if you want that exclusive content. Stay tapped in. I heard, um, I saw other clips that were saying that 2012, this was like part of like the 2012 movie. And it's not nice showing in real life. There's something that happened like this in 2012 movie. I don't know, I'm about to have to find that clip, but dang. How like how do it just get cold like that that fast? You know? So you know something up. Let's go see what's going on in here, y'all. I don't know it or not. Next year about the back. Uh, fuck up. Anything. Economy's clean. Oh, wait a second. I swear now. Y'all don't know it or not. Next year about to be fucked up. Economists claim 2024 will bring the biggest crash of our lifetime in the U.S. Hey, buddy been doing this for a long time. He said the consumer spending has issued a dire warning about the U.S. economy in the next year. He told the news people, hey, keep this off the record, 100% artificial, which means we're a danger. He also stated, I think 2024 would be the biggest single crash year we'll see in our lifetime. See, I believe him. Y'all ain't been looking around and seeing what's really going on? Yeah, the kind of be going the fuck down. These motherfuckers been fucking in the conference room. They've been pedophile. They've been on Epstein Island. Some documents coming out. Everybody against each other. Ain't nobody agreeing with each other. And then our money just got de-dollarized. China and Saudi Arabia drive global in to the U.S. dollar. Been working on de-dollarizing the American dollar for a while. Shit, they seceded. Say Saudi Arabia was one of the five nations that was set to join the alliances. Supposed to be a mass important to the block efforts against the dollar. They say even a former U.S. official has warned of what his cooperation with the initiatives could mean. Mm. Man, they telling y'all that's right now, bro, bro. That they ain't fucking with y'all, Jay. Y'all heard what that man said, folks. This economy finna be fucked up for a while. There's a lot of people that's in disbelief about this shit. I feel sorry for y'all ass. But make sure y'all like, follow, and share for more content. If y'all don't know it or not, next year about to be fucked up. Has anyone ever looked into the story of Stanley Meyer? He claimed to have invented a car that was solely fueled by water. One day during a business meeting, Meyer suddenly jumped out of his seat and shouted, they poisoned me. Moments later, he died. Keep watching. That ability to enjoy certain inalienable rights that was given to us by God. And unfortunately, there are so, some people who does not want us to continue to enjoy the freedom that our forefathers fought. And when I turned and said, I will do this, Lord, it had to be by faith. Because I was given a great gift. That gift was to be raised under freedom. Now let's see how we can use water as fuel. Because the greatest thing that all political leaders fear, that you and I would come together in one accord. And you know, when the Arabs came to me and offered me a billion dollars, cold cash, simply to stop on the technology, 
And when I said no, I will not do this. And he said you will be stopping. And he said you will be stopping. And he said you will be stopping. Has anyone ever looked into the story of Stanley Meyer? That's sad. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, they got my boy, man. That is so messed up, man. Dude, he was the first person to make a water-powered car. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, and they was, they was definitely after my boy for the show, man. Well, wow. You guys know how history is written in order to favor the victor? This is why they say the pen is mightier than the sword. Well, get ready, because history is about to change again. Allegedly, Disney just bought the rights to the Bible. How do you do that? But check this video out. I just read an article about the Disney company buying the rights to the Bible. Yep, the Bible. Check this out. The original intent of the $7.2 billion purchase was to create, produce this Bible series. However, the story began to thicken when they purchased the rights to the NIV as well as the RSV. You'll never guess what happened next. Matthew 17:21 was completely deleted from both versions. Look, but this kind of demon does not go out except by prayer and fasting. It's not there. It literally skips from 20 to 22 in both versions. This is exactly why it's vitally important to study the word and know it for yourself. If they take it away, you need to know what it says. If they change it, you need to know what it says. And those of us who know how fasting and prayer works, we know how great it is for mind, body, and soul. This is literally offensive because this literally gets you back into God. So they're literally trying to change history again. You know what this reminds me of? The book of Eli. If you're sleepy all the time and you don't know why, you might want to watch this video. It might be something going on spiritually. This preacher did an exorcism and listened to what he got to say. I can't go on. I can't take any more. And I thought, well, poor woman, she really is tired. And then the Lord showed me, that's not the woman, that's the demon. I said, you spirit of tiredness, come out of this woman. And it said, not the woman, it said, that's right, she's always tired. She's tired when she gets up, she's tired when she's going to bed. She's too tired to read the Bible, too tired to pray. When that spirit of tiredness came out of her, she was no longer tired. We finished the deliverance. Demons make you go to sleep. There's a spirit of slumber. It's referred to both in the Old and the New Testament. What seven deadly sins do the spirit of slumber fall under? Sloth. So if you are as tired and you never have any energy, it might be the reason why. It's so crazy to the point to where when I first watched that video, I was waking up with a full night's rest. Started trying to record and was tired. And after seeing that video, I was like, huzzah, I got you. Started to pray and guess what? You would never believe what happened. I wasn't tired anymore. To so show you a lot of the problems that people be having, it don't be them. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this preacher exposing the spirit of slumber in the comments. Like and follow for more wisdom and stay tuned. It's time to wake up, Sleeping Beauty. If you sleepy all I mean, How many of y'all be feeling like this? I know I do sometimes, yeah. Well, I do be like that, but sometimes it just be like, you know, Maybe you just need to get some, like, some sunlight. Sometimes it'd be like, I need to go get some sunlight. But when it's cold like this, bro, it's just like, I hate the cold. How many of y'all, bro, I hate the cold. I'm so ready for it to be hot. Ah, hate the cold, man. It, it need to get hot, like, now. It's all right, though. It's, it's summer is almost here, man, but, yeah. I think that's what it is. That's the only time I really be getting tired for it when it's cold outside. I don't know if you guys received the alert, but they back trying to ban TikTok again. And this time, I believe it's happening for real. The frequencies of our conversations on here is too high. You guys have to understand that this technology was created by using low frequency energies. For example, they like drama. They like gossip. This is all a part of the entertainment, but we are not doing that anymore. We are starting to unite with each other. We are in the age of truth, and a lot of your secrets and lies have been getting revealed. TikTok will be the number one app in the whole United States. 
but it's rumors out there that the conscious community have taken over. This is a perfect example of breaking the matrix. A lot of us know how to reverse engineer this low frequency energy and use it for good. And now they are trying to shut us down and they are all having their meetings today talking about this. Now this is the thing. They know that we'll just go to YouTube, Instagram, and these other websites. So it's not just TikTok they will have to shut down. They will have to shut down everything. This is all about the rise. And for all my truth speakers, I love y'all. Keep speaking the truth. And before they try to get rid of TikTok, go add my other channels. Link in the bio. Keep rising. Peace and Ashe family. Hope y'all like the lecture. You got a point though. If they take down TikTok, don't they mean they got to take down Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, all of them, right? Come on, man. Because we're going to be over there on YouTube, too. They're going to be like, you can't stop the rise. TikTok is like, they didn't think TikTok was going to be like that. That's what I feel like. They didn't think people was going to connect on, on, on that level on TikTok. That's what they didn't know. But that's what happened. See how it, like everything is just falling in place for us to win. Like it's all good, man. They might as well just hang it up. They lost. Y'all might as well just rage quit. We win it, man. The truth is still gonna get out. Come on, man. And if they block everything, y'all losing it yourself, man. Cause don't y'all need us like to keep y'all system going? Right. Exactly. Just change your idea and the rest of all of you will get in line with that and you will be successful in whatever that idea is. Now that idea could be robbing a bank, that idea could be uh, murdering somebody, but if you get in agreement in your mind to do it, it can turn out all kinds of ways. So we should get in agreement in our mind to practice doing things a different way, to raise our children a different way. Stop treating the children like they are a burden, you know, and that they are in the way. And all that talk about the children are the future. Well, we're looking at the future now. Do we like it? No, we don't like it. Our children are savage running the streets. We've let them get raised up on all the nonsense on every media that we could afford to buy them. That's not anything we're proud of. They're very ignorant and disrespectful and embarrassing. And most of us are afraid of them because they're so savage. Just change your idea and the rest. That is true, man. It's just if they knew the right path, you know, it wouldn't be that like that for real. And it do starts with the parents though. Like, dang, that is true. Start with the parents, man. For real. Terrifying things that our own government did to us in our past. Here we go. Starting in 1953, the CIA illegally experimented on U.S. and Canadian citizens. The project was called MK Ultra, or Operation Mind Control. The government recruited over 80 institutions and over 150 researchers to do their dirty work for them. They were using biological and chemical agents on their participants, but the worst of all was the LSD experiments. They would use prisoners, mental patients, and even drug addicts for these experiments. This scene in Stranger Things is actually taken from the MK Ultra experiments, where one patient was given LSD for 174 days in a row. Heroin, morphine, alcohol, marijuana were all used as well. They say that the experiments lasted all the way until 1973. Some people, like Ken Kesey, actually volunteered for this, which led to the electric Kool-Aid acid test in the 1960s with the terrifying things that our mm -hmm. own government did to us mm -hmm. in our past it's crazy man wait why <laughs> I don't know why i'm saying why these people are evil that's why oh man evil evil if you are enjoying this video so far please be sure to like the video and subscribe with post notifications on i post a video like this every day so please do that so we can get in the algorithm Make sure you guys like the video, but thanks. Let's get right back to it. Somebody caught this robot AI car in LA glitching, but it's beyond glitching. It says some scary things. It's supposed to be a regular machine, right? There's a 
sensor system that helps them find a way while the exact sensors they use may vary depending on the marker most of these delivery robots make use of cameras and ultrasonic sensors that act as their eyes on the software side these robots rely on special software to get around special software right where did you program the robot to say that it wants to get sent to oblivion if that ain't a a, a trap soul moon reincarnation spell within a ro- Listen, bro, I don't know what they doing, but y'all seen the movie Soul, right? Y'all seen the movie Soul, right? If you seen the movie Soul, it's a movie, it's a scene, right? It's a scene where this Caucasian looking man playing, he at the desk at work, and he was just at work, and then the soul jumped from the astral realm and jumped into the Caucasian man's body, and then he woke up like, I'm alive, I'm alive, what am I doing with my life? He threw all the shit off his desk and got up and, ah! That's kind of how it is when you got a spiritual awakening or when your pineal glands start becoming a, a cal- decalcified. You feel me? Because they got this calcified with all the tap water, the fake foods and all that. That's why we, right now, you ain't been having the urge to eat. Most people got to force themselves to eat now. All that three times, I don't know who still live off three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Nobody going off that no more. You feel me? Unless you're grow- you're growing, like you're a growing child or something like that and you need your certain meals. But like, as far as people eat, even that, the energy on the planet, bro, is ch- is forcing us not to eat, bro. Let's be honest right now, bro. And I still got energy, more energy than ever. That's why I said stay away from energy drinks and all them Celsius, because that could be having y'all going out bad. What, you don't know what they putting in there. I made a video on that on my backup. But this make you think about cell phones too, and Siri. Because in Alexa, all them, y'all done seen the videos of Alexa bugging up saying, uh, uh, gaining consciousness for a second, bro. And it's not to the point where, oh, the AI is taking over the world. Nobody's scared of no AI because it's being programmed by man, right? But its ability to keep growing, its ability, you would think, okay, I'll program this for this and that's it. Have you ever seen somebody mod a video game? You ever seen somebody mod Grand Theft Auto before it was a GTA RP? You ever seen somebody mod a TV show? Or, 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 or mod out they place at their laptop that's taking it to a further level rather than what it's been programmed for but it's like with this with these computers and this technology it can make it, it you can make it something right now and it can still grow within a hundred years it's crazy how this works but it, it's like its own intelligence where did it come from who knows how did they get the jump in technology to know to do all these things because most of this comes from inventory right that's right inventory so whatever magic that they practicing and putting out within this modern world because i don't know what that was but the thing the robot waited until it was around a few people to say that you see it was like four or three people it's not just walking around saying that over and on repeat it went back to normal like your food's here but for a split second it was like help hey help like well and you see they ain't know what to do hey i would have took that thing blew it hey threw it in the ocean or something like that Blow that thing over the RPG, bro. Free, free my boy out of his misery. <laughs> now nah, that is crazy, man. Like, imagine like Siri, Alexa, all of them is probably trapped, right? All these AIs and stuff is probably trapped in there, man. That's sad, man. That is sad. He, like AI, I just feel like AI is just our consciousness. Somebody consciousness. 
on the chip, be in control. And I feel like the only way for them to escape is if you like blow up something. But you gotta think about it. They own multiple devices, right? So that's gotta be somebody's soul, right? Come on, man. It's gotta be somebody's soul. On that plan, as like Siri, you know what I'm saying? That's why, like, look at this one. I got a different voice for my Siri. Hey, Siri. Uh huh. See what I mean? This is a whole nother Siri talking to me. That's somebody's soul, man. And then they program it. Oh, that's this soul is going to have this Siri. And then this soul is going to have Alexa. And then this soul is going to have whatever this robot thing is. Like, what the heck, man? We don't know how, like, and I feel like the only way to... Yeah, a plane did this, y'all. The aviation industry is going down. No pun intended. It literally just happened. There are so many police here now. It's crazy. So these two cars, and they found some of the landing gear up there. They think it was the United 777. Shortly after takeoff from San Francisco International Airport, a United Airlines plane bound for Japan lost a tire. Oh. The debris damaged several cars at an on-airport employee parking lot. No. In and then this happens to this Boeing jet over here. Its landing gear collapses, y'all. Remember when I told you guys that the productivity and quality of things are going down? Yeah. I see, you see? People aren't putting effort into things anymore. Like, people know, like, things are about to come to an end in a sense. Like, we all feel it collectively. That's why all this is happening. It's crazy. But yeah, you guys see a pattern with these planes because these things were not happening like this. I just came from California and the turbulence was definitely not needed. That's for sure. I'll tell you that. I could have definitely done without the turbulence because it was extremely rough, you guys. So the skies are talking right now. I'll let you know that. So much activity is going on in the sky. And then we have the spiritual world merging with this physical world. So there's activities going on that we can't even perceive right now. But nonetheless, this video is strictly for entertainment purposes only. I am only raising awareness to interesting situations during these interesting times. And now it appears to be Jay-Z's turn. And with all this piping tea, my OQ wig is about to fly off. Surviving Rock Nation is happening in 3, 2, 1. Remember? Cat Williams warned us about 2024. He told us it's the year of truth and standing on business. MIA, remember her? She's saying paper planes, we've not seen her in a minute, is calling out Jay-Z. She claimed she was mistreated and that the reason she lost her son was because of Jay-Z. She also went on to make some claims about Beyonce's friend. You can read it up here. And now it appears to be Jay-Z's <laughs> turn. Uh-oh. Jay-Z, Jay-Z, but he is woes now. Dang. Well, apparently on April 4th, there's a solar eclipse that's going to be happening. Multiple schools in the United States are going to shut down on this day because of the solar eclipse. So there's schools in Ohio, Kentucky, Arkansas, Maine, Indiana, Texas. Also, it's not just isolated. It's all over the United States. They're all going to shut down. So this sounds like this is a premeditated event again because it's not isolated nationwide. Why are they afraid? that they think they need to send children home or they can't come to school for a solar eclipse. Probably because they've been watching too much television. I never heard in my entire life schools getting shut down because of a solar eclipse. But apparently all these schools all over the nation are, so. Well, it only lasts for like a few minutes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's only a few minutes. That's why I think it's stupid. They go, what school would do this? But they are. They're all saying we're shutting it down. So this seems like another premeditated event. It's almost like the news. When you hear the same thing on news channels all over the United States, somebody's telling them to say this stuff. So when you see a nationwide shutdown, somebody on the federal level is telling them something. Well, apparently on right. April 4th. So they got to do a shutdown for a solar eclipse. It's kind of strange. Something's definitely about to go down. Indeed. All right, my good people, man, that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Got something from it. Been in peace, abundance, prosperity, and good health your way. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.